Hey, what's good, fam and friends? It's your brother Malachi Lice back at like a snack at it with another quick prophetic word. And this uh, word, I'm going to talk about a dream that I had the other night. And this isn't a new topic, but uh, it is it is kind of relevant at this time since uh, I believe Trump assigned Elon Musk to uh, some kind of department of energy, some kind of new kind of uh, department or something that has to do with energy. So as you guys probably know already, uh, Tesla released like humanoid looking robots not too long ago. They just had some kind of con conference and um, these robots were like iRobot the movie with Will Smith. And if you recall what happened in that movie, you know, basically the AI took over and um, there used to be, I think it was an anime or something or some kind of show called Ghost in the Machine. And that that that's pretty accurate because Satan is slick, right? So he has these, he, he creates this AI, these robots, but they can be inhabited by a ghost in the machine, by a spirit can inhabit these, these AIs, these robots. They just need a vessel. I don't know exactly how that works, but uh, the enemy has been around for thousands of years, right? So we can't, you know, downplay what he knows. He knows quite a bit more than all of us, but we have the power, we have the authority through Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So in this dream, <laughs> I was I was by this busy highway, you know, probably an interstate, a lot of cars driving. And I see like this robot kind of tow truck. It was like a smaller kind of truck, you know what I mean? But it was a robot and um, it attached some kind of like greenhouse kind of trailer to a big semi trailer. So it was like a double load. You know, like FedEx or, or you know, like UPS, they have like a double load semi trailers, even sometimes like three. So it was a double load, but it wasn't a semi trailer. It was like some kind of greenhouse looking thing on a trailer. So this uh, robot tow truck thing connected it. And, um, you know, that's not too far off, right? They probably have that, honestly. But uh, what was weird, though, after that is <laughs> when I seen the trucker drive by, I seen who was driving the truck and it was a robot that looked like a lady, I, I guess you could say, I guess I had some kind of hair or something, but you could see the metal skin. It looked very robotic, right? Not like a humanoid so much, but it, it uh, had a cowboy hat on and it was driving the semi truck, like a, a, a lady cowboy robot was driving the truck and proceeded to uh, go, go back on the highway. And it was super busy pulling that load and went right onto the highway. So, uh, it's not far off because they have the self-driving cars already, right? Plus these humanoids, but I guess uh, down the line, we're gonna see these actual robots driving these trucks and these cars. And uh, it actually just, it just came to me. It reminds me of that movie with Arnold Schwarzenegger, the original one, I think back in the 90s, uh, Total Recall. And they were on like, uh, I think Planet Mars or something like that. And he was like living in a simulation though. And, um, they had a, a taxi driver that was a robot. They've had quite a few movies like that with taxi driver robots. So they're trying to take away jobs and they're trying to have control because at some point, all this AI, it's all gonna be connected to a hive mind, which may very well be the image of the beast through uh, AI, through VR, through virtual reality. And uh, the metaverse, it'll be it'll become like the matrix probably. Cause you know, just like with Elon, uh, I forgot what the project was called, but they, they connected some dudes back of his head, did some surgery to where he could plug in and control things with his brain, like control the computer with just using his brain. So that's, that's really, uh, it's a lot like the matrix. So at some point the VR, the metaverse is probably going to be so real. It's going to be as real as this realm, right? Only you'll be able to like, you know, go anywhere you want have superpowers, they'll hook you up to these uh, suits or actually probably through your brain, you know, so you'll be able to feel all the same sensations as we do right now. So you, could, could you imagine, you know, people are already trying to escape reality with all the sex, drugs, rock and roll. If they have this VR that's that that real, uh, like the, the other movie, Ready, Ready Player One, all the people were just in this VR world all the time and like they have prizes and like, you know, they're making money through it. And obviously sexual things will be you know, so demonic and uh, private, you know, pushed on us. And that also reminds me of something I seen the other day. Man, these folks are wicked, fam. 
uh, it was an, I think an Aria Grande, the singer, she has a doll that came out for kids and it has a website on it that, that leads to a adult site. Uh, obviously I didn't click on it or anything, but, uh, it was through a brother in Christ that I seen he, he released that video. So these people are so wicked, fam. I think they, they finally, uh, canceled the dolls cause there was so much, you know, outrage about it. But look at them sneaking that porn sites on the back of dolls boxes for kids, family. You know, like there's there's just no uh, there's no limit with with the wickedness, with the evil, and they're trying to normalize it. And just like the Bible says, they're going to call evil good, good evil. And look how things have shifted so much in the last ten years. We don't even know what gender we are. All the wickedness, all the evil is okay to do. You know, it's just, oh, just be yourself. That's who you are. Do whatever you want, right? There's no morality. And if, who has the standard of morality? Where does the standard of morality come from? <laughs> Is it by men? <laughs> Look how that's worked out in history for so many years. And don't get me wrong. There's been a lot of wicked men that use religion, even Christianity, to conquer other nations and, and to conquer people, right? To even enslave them. But just because they're wearing that hat, it's like a false flag operation in the military, they're, they're waving the flag like they're true Christians, but they're really not. Like uh, Roman Catholicism is a, is a great example. And they end up snaring the people in the name of Jesus, but they're obviously not his followers if you look at the fruit. That's why Christ said, you'll know them by their fruit. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit. A bad tree cannot bear good fruit. So we really have to be in tune with the Holy Spirit. Everything's got to align with the Word of God and the Holy Spirit that will live inside of you once you receive Christ, the Spirit of Truth, the Comforter, the Counselor, Mighty Counselor. So, uh, yeah, we got some times coming, folks, because there's other words on the channel that I released about these robot things. There was a civil war, and in the dream, I had a gun, and I was pointing in the air, putting up shots, and there's all these other, like, gangs or families, you know, people squatting up because there's famines coming, the economic collapse. Civil War starting next year still is going to happen, cold to hot, and last a few years. So I think it was 2027 or 28, and in the dream I was, I was like calling for peace, shooting the gun in there and putting the weapons down, saying we're all one, basically, you know, like, don't be divided by the enemy. It's the enemy doing the divide and conquer scheme on us, splitting us up by politics, race, gender, religion, everything they can separate us on. So don't fall for the enemy's traps and tricks, family. It's the oldest trick in the book, Divide and Conquer. So um, in this dream, 2027, 2028, Civil War, putting the guns down, but then I seen these robots were also in the mix. And when I seen these robots, it was like singularity, like, you know, like the most uh, advanced robots I ever seen. They were so smooth, moving so seamless. And I remember thinking in the dream, how do we stop these things? You know what I mean? And of course, they already have it. You know, what do you think they got underground? You think of the things they're releasing to us. It's just the tip of the iceberg. They've had these other technologies for many, many, many years, decades, right? Just like in Hollywood through predictive programming, they always show us what they're going to do in the future because they already have it at that moment, even before time. So, I mean, we're talking about the fallen angels and their technologies that they've had for probably thousands of years, hence the you know, how they did the pyramids in Egypt, how they still can't figure that out, right? So uh, don't underestimate the enemy. Is what I'm trying to say, but don't forget that we have the power and authority, and I'm sure the Lord is going to give us the strategy, even if it's supernatural, binding and rebuking in the name of Jesus, using scripture, using the sword, the word of God, EMP in the name of Jesus. <laughs> you know, like I, I wouldn't doubt if he would do something like that, because we're going to be turned up with some powers. Uh, so it's not, uh, not to be in fear. The Lord will give us strategy, but we need to abide in him and follow his leading and direction. And he'll carve out the path for us. But he does give us these warnings and love because um, a lot of things are coming down the pipe. And he wants us to be ready because, uh, as the word says, men's hearts will fail them for the, these things coming to the earth. And these last the last days were in the book of Revelation. I believe the beginning of sorrows has already started or is about to start. And then the seals and all that, the, the, you know, the uh, trumpets and the uh, bold judgments will follow rapidly. And the great tribulation, which I do believe we will be going through that. I think at a point, some of his peeps maybe will go with him, like right before the second coming, the 144,000, probably the first fruits, and uh, get marching orders and maybe even get the uh, 
enlightened bodies, the light bodies, and come back with powers, and then come back with Christ, maybe. I don't know about all the details on that. But uh, I wouldn't expect to just be out of here before the tribulation, because it's even in the word, I believe it's Thessalonians, the man of sin, the son of perdition, Obama, the abomination, abomination of desolation has to happen first, which is at the mid-trib point. So that has to happen first. So it's at least mid-trib, and I've actually had dreams it's post-trib, pre-wrath. So uh, there's no there's no point in really getting in debates over it. Let's just take it to the Lord and see what he shows us. But let's stay ready, keep our oil, oil lamps filled up and staying on fire for the Lord. And um, another thing about the robots, I've also seen, uh, it was I believe it was Russia and some U.S. city. It might have even been Denver. And they had uh, Russian tanks and soldiers, but they also had soldiers in these huge what are they called? The, uh, you know, like transhumanism suits, but they're like really big metal, you know, huge things like on, uh, the show fallout that they just had. Um, it's like those big, big robotic suits. So they have those already. Right. And there's, there's a info about those that they have those suits, but the one I've seen is quite a bit bigger than what they've shown us. And, uh, I knew in the dream that they were raping our girls is also what I knew in the dream. It was a knowing. I didn't see it, but I knew that that's what they were doing. And that also matches some uh, other prophecies from some other uh, messengers that, you know, God's wrath is going to pour out and he's going to allow these Chinese, Russian, Iranian, you know, Islam soldiers to really have their way with the United States because that's exactly what our military has done to the whole world, essentially, in the name of freedom and democracy, right? So don't get me wrong, there's some soldiers that mean well and they're not about that business, but at the end of the day, who are they really serving at the top of the pyramid family? <laughs> you know, the agenda continues. So, uh, you yeah, know, these robots, this AI, Satan is going to use it to, you know, for major moves in his uh, plans. And I even seen that, because uh, it's, you know, it's like 2020. Look, that, that's a, a prime example of how they prepped us for these moments. They basically want us to not have any human contact, and it's just going to be robots and AI, so it loses the humanity. We're not able to uh, spread knowledge or information or, or come together, right, and love, and um, even protection, right? So that's that's the enemy's plan, is to separate us like that. And of course, the churches will be shut down one day, so it's house church, like the Book of Acts, is going to have to come back around. Uh, Book of Acts 2.0 is going to be in effect at some point, even in, in this country. And it's already like that in some other countries, right? They're, they have underground church. So uh, the Lord will give us strategy. Don't worry, fam, fear not. Be not discouraged. Be strong and courageous for the Lord God is with us. Whithersoever we go, he's already went ahead of us and paved the way. Hallelujah. That's why we can have that peace when we know we're in his will, because he's already went, a, went ahead of us and he knows the future. <laughs> so there's really nothing to worry about. But we do need to be aware these are trying times. These are hard times, right? But there is going to be some thriving going on as well. There's going to be a window where the church thrives, doing greater works than Christ. And uh, even some with Joseph uh, anointings and what have you. Because uh, the cities are going to be, you know, they're doing the smart cities. So they're going to have everything on the grid. Everything is uh, tracked and traced, kind of like it is now, but like in China. And they have uh, their system where they, they scan everybody's face and their social credit system. It's called Skynet. <laughs> It's right in our face. That's from uh, the movie Terminator, if you guys didn't know. Skynet, which is the the AI that took over, right? So they've been showing what they're trying to do, family. But we're going to be just fine as long as we're following the Lord. And he'll He'll give us peace even through persecution. But um, don't underestimate what the enemy's got and what they're going to do. But we can see their plans coming from a mile away. The, I've seen dreams that they're going to have another thing like uh, 2020, but it's going to be worse. Worse plagues. Uh, famine blackouts are coming um i released a word not long ago on what to stock up on food water pet food uh, water filters solar systems because the power will be out for quite some time at some point and um man it's like the movie leave the world behind produced by <laughs> the obama's family on netflix that was their plan i have many words about that if you want to check them on the channel but um they took control of the Tesla cars and they jammed up. They had them crash into each other and jammed up the roadways. So they can control the cars and they've been, been able to do it since OnStar. So it might be wise to have some older cars, you know, that are pre-1980s. So they're like EMP proof. EMP proof, some of your electronics have backup items for your solar systems and what have you. 
would probably be very prudent in these times. Um, the Lord will provide, though. I mean, look what he did with, you know, what is it, two, five loaves and two fishes? So, uh, or is it two loaves and five fishes? He, he'll do miracles if need be. Look at how he had the ravens come and feed Elijah at the brook, right? So, there's no need to worry, but he does want us to pre be prepared. And um, that way we can share bread, physical bread, and the bread of life, the gospel of Jesus Christ, which matters more than anything else by far in this earth where we're going to spend eternity with the Lord, you know, or where we're going to spend eternity, either, either with or without the Lord. He wishes that none shall perish, but we all have free will to choose. Why would anyone deny the greatest gift of all time, Jesus Christ's sacrifice on the cross for our sins before we were, we were even alive? While we're yet still sinners, he died for us. The only way to get cleansed for a perfect heaven is through that blood sacrifice with his perfect sinless blood, God in the flesh, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. So today is the day of salvation, family. If you haven't received him, man, it's not going to be wise to not have Christ in these times, any time, especially these last of the last days. So if you want to receive him, you can receive him today. You can call out to him wherever you're at. You don't have to be at church. You can be wherever you're at. He'll meet you where you're, where you're at, where you are. He'll forgive, forgive you for whatever you have done. It doesn't even matter, family. He's used some of the most wicked ones in the Bible and turned them into the, some of his greatest soldiers and disciples. That's the ones he prefers to use, actually, because they're more, uh, they're more grateful. The greater the sin, the greater you're going to be on fire for the Lord, essentially. Not always, but that's usually the case. So if you want to receive him today, family, just call out to him and say, Heavenly Father, I receive Jesus Christ as my Lord and Savior. I believe in my heart that he was raised from the dead three days later. And then repent, turn away from your sins. The Holy Spirit will help you. He'll infill you and be baptized, water baptized, fully submerged, specifically in the name of Jesus Christ. Just like the, uh, the apostles always baptized, the disciples always in the name of Jesus Christ, not the titles. And then that's for the remission of sins, forgiveness of sins, and you'll receive the gift of the Holy Spirit, family. And the Holy Spirit will fill you, and he'll take away all that weight of sin and all that shame and guilt from you, family, because we all fall short. None of us are perfect, and there's not one good besides God, man. So we all need him, family. We've all sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. And the wages of sin is death, family, eternal hell, eternal suffering in hell. But the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. I've tried all the sex, drugs, rock and roll, all the religions, family, and studied them extensively. Just seeking the truth and grow up in any kind of religious home or anything like that was miserable for so many years after finding out the truth of this world and all the lies that we've been taught. Didn't want to wake up anymore. Suicidal, homicidal, backstab, betrayed. I mean, just like everyone else, right? It's nothing new under the sun. You can't trust man. You can only trust God. He was the one that was calling me and was with me the whole time through my darkest nights of the soul. And he gathered me up. He, get, he created a new creature out of me, made me a new creation. And the Holy Spirit has changed my life and made things just so much better and beautiful. I'm not saying there's not going to be some challenges. You're going to have some spiritual attacks. But when you know you got the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the Lion of Judah <laughs> in your camp, family, that's outside of time, that knows the future, that loves you so much and has the perfect plan for your life, the omniscient, omnipotent, omnipresent one, Yahweh, God Almighty, Jesus Christ in the flesh, the Holy Spirit, the three are one God. Man, there's nothing better, family. It's the only peace that I've found in this whole earth. You can literally meet your creator and know who you are. He'll show you your identity. Who else would know that? The world Is the world going to tell you your identity? Or is the one that made you going to show you who you are and who, who you were created to be? And you can get into his presence here on this earth. The kingdom of heaven is at hand. So we got to repent, turn away from our wicked ways, and he will help us do it. And he'll fill us with his spirit. He'll show up mightily to you. The more you seek him, the more he seeks you. You take one step, he takes two. He will. I guarantee you, I promise you, that he'll show up to you. And the word of God is proven, tried and true for thousands of years. The only prophetic book to the extent 2,000 prophecies out of 2,500 have came true. There's no other book on earth that's like the Holy Bible. And I've read the other ones, all these other false religions. 
and they buy they try to buy off the off the original word. It's supernatural. King James Version preferred, mo most accurate. It literally feeds my spirit. If I don't start the day off reading at least two chapters, my mind is going to be double-minded. And after I read, my eyes get lower. I'm in the spirit. It literally feeds your spirit. Just like our physical body needs bread, the, the Word of God is the bread of life. Jesus Christ is the bread of life. He is the Word of God. He's the Logos. So he literally feeds your spirit family and he gives you that peace and that direction will speak to you through anything, right? But the enemy can send false signs and confirmations too. So we have to be careful and that's why we have to test the spirits. Just even mine, don't, don't trust what I'm telling you. Take it to prayer. Seek the Lord with all your heart and you will find him, I promise you that. And everything's got to match up with the word of God and the Holy Spirit's unctioning and leading. And that's how you, you, you won't be deceived like how I was before in the world, just seeking the truth. There's so many traps from the enemy, family. So, uh, yeah, fam, <laughs> I pray this bless you. May the Lord God, Heavenly Father, please, uh, I pray that you keep and protect and guide. Light up the paths of this one on the other side of the screen and our loved ones, Father, and I as well. Remove the scales from my eyes and heart. Your perfect will be done through our lives. Give us strength to overcome all sin and endure until the end. And we shall be saved and be with you forever in eternity in a perfect heaven where there's no more pain, no more suffering, no more tears, family. <laughs> His presence is so beautiful. There's nothing like it. So imagine being with him forever in his presence forever, family. I mean, we're talking total bliss, ex pure ecstasy, pure joy and the Lord forever, family. And the contrary is nothing nice. He doesn't wish that for none, but it's our choice, family. I pray you make the right choice. God bless and keep you. Holler if you uh, need something or you have a comment. And uh, let's get ready for these times. We're in the last of the last days. The AI is turning up. They're, uh, they're, they're, trying to, you know, they're trying to take away human contact, family. So let's stay connected. And stay connected to the Lord, most importantly, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless you, family.